Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to optimize settings for your Samsung Odyssey Neo G9, G95, and CS57 CG95 monitor for that ultimate ultra-wide experience, guys. So first things first, of course, you want to go ahead and open the OSD menu, which is the on-screen display menu, and you do this using the joystick control, which you'll find located at the back of the monitor and then what you need to do is you need to navigate to picture settings and you need to choose custom mode for a manual adjustments or you can choose game mode for that enhanced gaming performance okay and then you need to of course adjust your brightness and contrast so brightness you want to actually set it to 85 if you want vibrant visuals if you are in a bright room or if you are in a dimly lit room you can set it to about 60 or 65 and contrast you want to set this to 80 for that optimal depth now you want to also enable local dimming so go to picture settings and set local dimming to high okay and this will give you improved dynamic range and you know those deeper blacks okay and then you need to turn on HDR mode for supported content and this way you can basically enjoy lifelike colors and lighting and in the game settings you also want to go ahead and do this okay go ahead and set the black equalizer to 13 this will give you enhanced visibility in a darker scenes then you want to, of course, uh, fine-tune your color settings so you want to adjust RGB as follows set red to 50 green to 48 and blue to 46 and then you want to go ahead and set gamma and uh, sharpness so uh, gamma you want to put this to mode 2 and sharpness you want to set this to 60 for those crisp visuals and then in your system settings this is what you want to do guys you want to configure the refresh rate to 240 hertz for fluid performance okay and then you want to go ahead and turn on FreeSync premium pro if you are using AMD or G-Sync, if you are using NVIDIA, go ahead and this will give you a tier free gaming experience. And then of course you want to go ahead and also enable iSaver mode for extended viewing without strain, okay? This will give you reduced blue light. And then of course you want to go ahead and save your settings, exit the menu, and you can go ahead and test the settings with your favorite game or media so i hope this guide was of value to you guys if it was consider smashing that like button as well as subscribing to find your solutions and i'll see you in the next one